which you guys got one of the first most powerful Ryzen 7000 mini PCs from B-Link. This is the SER6 Pro with the Ryzen 7735HS CPU. So it's a pretty powerful uh, little mini PC, this one. We're going to take a look at it and put it through its paces. This is everything you can get inside the box if you're going to be purchasing something like this. You're going to get your user manual with color pictures and English text inside here. So it's going to help you set up your mini PC. And when you want to do some upgrades, I'll show you exactly what you can do with this and what you can't. So we've got a couple of little cables here. We've got a HDMI cable and also DP cable, back plate here, and some screws if you want to put in a SSD in here as well for storage. Interchangeable uh, cover on the top here. This is going to allow ventilation in to cool down the actual mini PC as well. Got a UK plug on this version. And here is our uh, power brick here. 19 volts, 6.32 amps, and 120.8 watts. And this is also the hunt key uh, power brick. So let's go ahead and take a look at what else we've got here. We've got also another cable here, which we've already discussed, which is a slightly longer cable. You can use your own cables if you want slightly longer cables. And then we have the mini PC itself. Let's take a look at what all the inputs are on this uh, device. We have that clear CMOS and also the two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports and a USB. Uh, four port in there and a 3.5 mil audio jack on there as well now you can do quite a bit with that usb 4.0 port you can run a gpu and also run the actual device from that if you want to we also have a ventilation on both sides of these to allow airflow into the actual mini pc itself moving on to the back of the device we have a ethernet port which is a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port we also have a usb 2.0 and a usb 3.2 gen 2 and one a display port and one HDMI port. And we have our DC input, and we also have the exhaust area for the heat to come out of the actual mini PC at the back here. So pretty nice little device here. It's a green color, dark green color. Uh, some people say it's a blue, but it looks like a green color. Let's take a look at the specs in more detail here. So we have the CPU, which is an AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS with a 3.2 gigahertz base clock and a 4.75 gigahertz max turbo. And as you can see on there, we do have eight cores and 16 threads on this little device. Wi-Fi 6 capable and also DDR5 4800 megahertz at RAM in here, running on dual channel at 32 gigabytes total space here. But you can upgrade that to 64 gigs if you want to. Now this does also have a dual fan design to cool it, which is the, for the cooling of the CPU and the system. And we also have on here an M.2, which is a PCI Express 4.0 SSD 500 gigabytes on here, which is, I do believe, is a Kingston drive on these. Now, the GPU on this is pretty good, runs at 2200 megahertz, and the GPU is the Radeon 680M with 12 cores on it. So it's going to be pretty powerful, and it's going to be able to do all of your tasks that you want it to do, whether it be uh, video editing or gaming or just general office work or watching movies. So let's take the bottom off of this. And so you can see here, you can put another SSD in here, and this is gonna give you plenty more storage on here, and it does have a cooling fan in here. So it does come with the screws, and we're gonna remove this uh, plate here. I do like this design from B-Link, and I hope they keep this up, because it is a pretty uh, good way of uh, separating the two and keeping things nice and cool. And this will take an SSD here of up to two terabytes. And you can also put a, a hard drive in here if you wanted to, but why you'd want to do that, I don't know. Just stick with an SSD, it's a lot better. We do have a uh, Crucial RAM inside here, which is DDR5 uh, Crucial RAM, which is really nice quality RAM. I do like B-Link's approach to quality parts, which they put in all of their mini PCs. If you look here, these are the specs on the screen here. Let it focus and you should be able to see it. And this is a 16 gigabyte stick. So we've got two of those. That's 32 gigabytes in total. And you can upgrade this as well to even more RAM if you wanted to. I think a maximum of 64 gigabytes it can go up to. So we do have Bluetooth 5.2 on here. And also I did remove that little heat spreader there for the NVMe to see what one it is. And it is actually a Kingston. So looking at the idle temps here, as you can see, running at pretty cool temperatures wanted to show you all the specs here and then we'll do some benchmarking as well and you'll get some uh, benchmark scores on this device as well so you'll know exactly what you're getting into when you're buying something like this because it does cost around about the 500 odd pound mark i'll show you the price 
a little bit later on in the video. So let's do a quick stress test here on the CPU and we go through here and you'll be able to see exactly what we've got here. So you can see here it's going up into 80 odd degrees Celsius. I'm not going to torture this little mini PC. I just wanted to show you that the thermals on it are pretty good. And if I come down here, you'll see there is no thermal throttling or anything like that. So let me just pull this down so we can see if there's any thermal throttling here. And there is no thermal throttling going on. So that's pretty good. Not going to torture it to death because it is a mini PC at the end of the day. Let's run the CPU benchmark on Geekbench 6. And you can see 1,918 on the single core, 9,638 on the multi core. And I'll also do two uh, benchmarks for the complete GPU here as well. We'll run the Vulcan one first, 29,706 with the Vulcan score. And we'll also do OpenCL score, which is 28,535, which is pretty impressive. Let's move on to the uh, Time Spy score here, which is 2,676. And I'll also do the GPU as well, which is Night Raid at 24,637. Pretty impressive scores there for a mini PC. Now, of course, this is going to handle all your 4K streaming at 60 FPS. As you can see here, you can run up to three monitors on this little mini PC. And you can see there's a few little drop frames right at the very beginning. But once you uh, get it started, it doesn't drop any frames anymore. It stabilizes. But you just get a little one when you actually start it. So I dragged it there and you can see it works perfectly fine at 4K. Uh, 60 fps so that's the streaming test done now if you do like to play movies or something like that maybe you want to run a plex server on here you could do and if you want to run uh, all your favorite movies you would be able to do this no problem at all as you can see here silky smooth no jerkiness or stuttering on the actual screen as you would expect for something of this quality it's super powerful and it's going to handle all of this stuff no problem at all and as you can see, the B-Link SER6 Pro is performing pretty well. So it's probably one of the best mini PCs out there on the market. Now, if you want to know what the speed of the NVMe drive is, you can see 3,698.14 on the reads and 2,448.21 on the writes. So pretty impressive speeds for the little uh, NVMe drive in there. So let's go ahead and try run Jellyfish. So we'll try the 120 Mbps. 4K Ultra HD at 10 bit, and we'll play that. And you can see it is silky smooth. And I'll skip it here just to show you how it starts straight away, instantly starts playing that video, no problem at all. And we'll try a much more aggressive one as well, which is pretty hard to play, which is the Jellyfish uh, 400 version, which is the 400 Mbps 4K Ultra HD HEVC. And uh, this is also 10 bit as well. And as you can see here, pretty smooth as well, no problems whatsoever. So if you're playing these highly intensive video files and it can handle these with ease, and I'll skip it there just to show you that it instantly plays, and that is the processing power of this little mini PC. Now if you're wondering whether it can play games, this is uh, upscaled quite high and also anti-aliasing right up as well. So it can handle this, and I've got this streaming on my 4K TV, and it's playing this no problem at all. So if you're looking for full-blown uh, AAA listed games some games are going to be able to play at 720p with low settings these are going to be uh, games like Elden Ring and also uh, Cyberpunk and games like that which are pretty graphic uh, intensive games now if you're looking for retro games it can handle all of your retro games like I've said at pretty high settings if you're looking for other games like Forza and games like these uh, CSGO Games like that, which are a little bit more low intensity, you can play them at 1080p and get good frame rates on those games like Grand Theft Auto 5. It will handle all those games. If you want to see benchmarks with uh, those particular types of AAA listed games, then let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to make another video showing you some of the more intensive games so you can see how it handles uh, those games and what sort of temperatures you're going to get. Now, bearing in mind, this is a mini PC and you have to be mindful about uh, what you're doing with it. It can handle Photoshop, video editing and things like that as well. But if you're looking for this to buy it for, say, for instance, to replace your desktop where you're playing AAA listed games like uh, Elden Ring and also Cyberpunk and games like that, then you're going to only be able to play those at 720p at low settings at best. So it can handle Destiny 2 
at 50 odd frames per second, PUBG at around about 70 to 80 FPS. And also we've got CSGO at 95 to 120 FPS and Dota 2 at 95 to 120 FPS as well. So you can play games like that on this, uh, you know, and they're all going to be at 1080p, those particular games that I mentioned there. But some you'll be forced to uh, play at 720. If you want to see a more dedicated video on that particular type of gameplay, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. But here we go. B-Link SER6 Pro 7735HS Gaming Mini PC at £522. Pretty awesome. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll leave all the links in the video description. Catch you in the next one. Thanks again. Bye for now.